Hey guys, Alana Grant here, and today I'm back with another LEGO video. Uh, today is a tutorial. I haven't actually done a how to build tutorial in a long time. Um, and this isn't anything that was in a previous video. No one asked for a how to build. I just, you know, wanted to do one for this particular one. Um, but today... We're building one of my new favorite cryptids. We are going to be building our boy Siren Head. Uh, Siren Head, camera please focus. Siren Head is a super cool dude. And if this piece wasn't so loose, there we go. Uh, Siren Head's pretty cool. He can't really stand. Um, so you're probably going to want to have uh, a base plate for him to stand on. Um, but he's a pretty simple build, so should be somewhat easy to gather all the pieces you are going to need. And I'm going to go uh, step by step on uh, how to build this guy. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to be building are the legs. Now the legs are both the same, so, you know, there's no special uh, instructions. Uh, for either leg. They're just the same exact build, uh, but put on different sides. So, I, I would say mirror it, but there's nothing to mirror. So, yeah. It, it's just a really simple build. Um, these are the parts you're going to need. You're going to need um, a lightsaber hilt, a lightsaber rod of this length, and this length right here. Um, if the camera, please camera, there we go, um, rods of these lengths, this is the normal average size of a lightsaber rod, so find a lightsaber rod, and then, uh, you could either cut down another lightsaber rod, or, oh, uh, find one of this size, um, uh, you're also going to need a connector. I have this specific one from um, the lightsabers from the Bionicle Star Wars sets. Um, but if you have a bunch of these, just use these. I only had to use these because I didn't have enough of these. Um, so basically, you're just going to need a bunch of these. Uh, you're going to need four of these. You're going to need two lightsaber hilts, you're going to need two of each of these rods, you're going to need two of these, uh, like, missile pieces, flick fire missile pieces, uh, and you're going to need two of these sort of headlight pieces, I guess. They're not headlight bricks, but they look like headlights. Um, so, how to build it. You're going to Take your lightsaber hilt, uh, hilt and turn it upside down. Whoops. Don't drop it, though. Turn it upside down. Take your normal lightsaber hilt and plug that in like so. Then take, you know, either this piece or if you want to use this piece, use it. Just plug that on. Take your smaller lightsaber rod. Put that in there, then put this on top of that. Then you're going to put your flick fire missile thing in top of that. And then, last but not least, you're going to take this and you're going to use the stud connection on there to connect it to this. And now you have a leg. And of course, you're just going to do that twice. So now you have two legs. Next is the arms. So here's the pieces you're going to need for the arms. Uh, much like the legs, they're the same exact build. So the pieces you'll need for one arm are the pieces you'll need for the other arm as well. So just double up all these pieces. Um, the pieces you're going to need are one of these um, short uh, brackets here in light gray. Uh, then T-joint, I only had black, but if you have the light gray ones, you could use those. Uh, 
light gray lightsaber hilt or you could just use a regular lightsaber hilt if you don't have the light gray one um, another uh, small and big lightsaber rod same sizes as the ones used for the legs another one of these another flick fire missile piece Whoop. stay still and then you're going to need one of these clip pieces. So assembling the arm, you're going to take the T-joint right here. And you're going to take the small bracket and you're going to put it on there. My camera is having a hard time focusing. There we go. There we go. Um, put it on like this. Then... You're going to take the lightsaber rod and put it on this peg, like so. Oh wait, no you're not. <laughs> you're going to put on this peg, because yeah, this is where the shoulder is. Um, then you're going to take the small lightsaber rod piece and put it into the bottom of that lightsaber hilt. Then you're going to take this connector piece and put it onto that. Then you're going to take the normal lightsaber. Uh, bar piece and then put that in there then after that you're going to take the flick fire missile use the stud end to connect it to that and then last but not least you're going to use this piece as the hand and you're just gonna put it on there like that kind of an illegal connection but it's all right um, once again you're going to do that twice so you have two arms, just like you did with the legs. So now at this point, you should have two arms and two legs for your siren head. The next part and the second most complicated part we're going to build is the torso. The head is going to be the most complicated part to assemble. Um, but this, uh, torso build is more difficult for pieces. Um, mainly for this piece here and this piece here. Um, this piece is not modified. It's just broken. So, and it's the only one I had, so it's what I had to use. But, um... But yeah, you're going to need a three one of these. If you don't have a three one of these, then you could, you know, cut one and use that. Then you're also going to want to have one of these in, oop, antenna like pieces. Uh, it's like a light. Uh, Fucking! <laughs> I keep dropping it. It's like a lightsaber rod, and it ends in a stud connection. It doesn't come off or anything. It's part of it. Um. But that shouldn't be too hard to find. All of that in light gray, obviously. Um, uh, but this you're going to want to have as a blue pin. Because the light gray version of these half pins are made to be loose. And we don't want anything loose um, in there. So don't use that. Um, but uh, now that that's out of the way... Uh, we're going to start building the torso. First thing you're going to need is one of these pieces right here. Um, where it's got the two axle connections here and the pin connection in the center. Then you're going to need another lightsaber hilt, light gray or normal. Or even if you don't have light gray and you have dark gray. You could use that. I don't remember ever seeing a dark gray lightsaber handle, so I'm not sure they exist. <laughs> but if they do, then you could use that. Um, none of one of these little half stopper pieces. Uh, one of these whole stopper pieces. Uh, the This piece that we already mentioned. The blue pin that we already mentioned. One of these. And just to show... Yes, these are different. This one is flat and that one is not. Um, 
uh, then another one of these, and then the antenna piece. So this build is a little strange, um, but it is kind of fun. So what you're going to want to do is take the lightsaber rod piece first and, or antenna piece rather. Fart camera, please focus. I need you. There we go. Then you're going to take this piece, slide it down and plug it in. <clears throat> then you're going to take uh, this piece right here, you're also going to slide that in. Now, it's not going to be connected at first, um, but that's what this pin right here is for. So, you're going to want to slide that on and then connect it. And then push it back up like this, and that'll keep it on there like so after that you're going to want to take the tiny one and the tiny one will connect to that little bit of pin then you're going to take this and slide that on followed by the half version of it then you're going to take a lightsaber piece and put it on like this and then take the last one of these and attach that onto there. And then you're just going to squish everything down. So everything's uh, nice and sturdy. And there you have your siren head torso. And at this point, you should have the two arms, the two legs, and the torso of your siren head. The next and most complicated and last part of this entire build is this head. So uh, let's get the pieces set up. These are the parts you're going to need to build Siren Head's head. You're going to need two megaphones, two half stoppers, one full stopper, uh, one regular size lightsaber uh, bar piece, one lightsaber hilt, uh, one T-joint, one gray half pin, one claw piece with the uh, little bar coming off, and one chain of this length. Now like I said, this is a little complicated, but I'm going to try to break it down uh, in the most simple way I can. Just step by step, first you're going to take one of your megaphone pieces and your stud with the hole through it and you're just going to plug it onto the end. Then you're going to take your T-joint like this and shove that into there. Uh, then you're going to take this full stopper piece and put it on the other bar. After you do that you're going to want to take your gray half pin and connect this chain piece onto that. Then you're going to push it down like so and this is what it should look like so far. After that you're going to take your bar piece and you're going to push it in to the pin. After that, you're going to take your little claw piece and you're going to clip it right under that pin. Then you're going to take one of your half stoppers and put it there. Then you're going to take your other microphone, turn it upside down so the handle is facing up, and plug that onto there. After you've done all of that, you're going to take the sep second end of this chain and you're going to slide it up onto this little pole here. Um, if you want to, you could pop this assembly off while you're doing this so it's easier. Um, 
because this is slightly difficult just to show you what I'm doing here you got to get this onto this so you're going to be doing a little bit of stretching uh, if you need to you could also uh, pop the top radio section off and slide it down a little bit that way you have more room to slide this on and then you can you know, slide this back up plug this on put your other clip mic piece back on then you want to slide this up a little bit the chain and then you're going to take the bottom end of the chain and you're going to swivel it around on the opposite so it cro crisscrosses away from the other side and that'll keep it from uh, rattling too much and it looks cool then after that you're going to take your other half pin uh, not half pin half stopper put that on there and then you're going to take your lightsaber handle and plug it right on there and then after that you're going to want to slightly shimmy shimmy this down and boom there you have siren heads head at this point you should have all the pieces you need to fully build siren head and this is the easiest step of the whole build you're just slapping everything onto the torso so you just take the torso take these little pins from the headlight pieces here and plug them in sideways like so do that on both sides now you have your legs then you take your arms and do the same thing with the pins on them slide them in like so now you have the arms on there and then last but not least you take the head and you plug the lightsaber end of the well not the the, bleh, the bottom end of the lightsaber hilt down here into this stud at the top of the torso like so and then you rotate it so it's facing forward you could rotate it so it's slightly turned to the side that's what i like to do um and there you have your siren head done and there he is so at the beginning of the video i said that he couldn't stand uh, on his own properly and he can't if you lean him up against a wall like i'm doing now he can um but a lot of the time you're going to want to have some kind of base plate or something that he's connected to uh, via his little lightsaber feet, uh, lightsaber hilt feet. Um, and yeah, so there's some articulation on here as well. Um, because of how it's built, uh, his arms can swing around. You could also pull his arms out more if you want to sort of get them more at his sides rather than more in front of him. Um, his legs can move back and forth. Um, he could rotate at the torso 360. Uh, he could rotate in his head 360. Um, obviously the, the uh, second uh, siren head can move and so can the first one. So you can, you know, get him looking around or have his sirens positioned differently. Um, of course, because of how this is built, there's rotations all throughout the arm and all throughout the legs. Obviously, no elbows or knees. Um, you do have a little bit of rotation at the hand as well as a little bit of hinge at the hand uh, before it comes off. Um, but yeah... Uh, that is your siren head. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you want to see more how to build videos like this, 
post in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.